I reckon Keita being a good thrower is making sure we get really consistent with our, our throw and our release. So uh, what are some good, good ways that you can just practice release drills? Lie on my back and then just throw it up and just sit it in Awesome. Use my fingertips. Yep, so while you're watching TV, lying on, on, the, uh, on the ground, okay, and just practicing throwing above your head, just getting that release. You can do it off a bed. Another good one while you're walking to training as well is just, can I have the ball, George? is just practicing as you let it go and getting it to bounce back to you as you walk. So as you're walking out to training, just getting the numbers in. So try and get as much opportunity to practice those release drills as you can, and that'll make you a more consistent thrower. So we might just uh, have a crack at that. So if we'll just get you with a ball if we can, walking, just practicing, throwing into the ground, start it static maybe, and get it bouncing back to you, just so that's hitting the ground consistently. If you don't want to walk, if you're struggling with that, just start at static and then you can start a walk and that'll, uh, that'll make it a bit more challenging. Okay, you're going to come out to uh, me here and you've got to be walking as quick as you can, but you've got to get at least six throws as you walk. So make sure you're throwing and just using your hands, not necessarily your whole arms as you're going through. Get it coming back nice and, and uh, consistently to you. Away we go. Ready, go. Thomas, you're cheating. <laughs> okay, some wee competitions like that be perfect. Um, and, and do that with your, your mates so you can, um, you know, just getting numbers in again. Okay, as mentioned, this is a really good one just so you can do in your lounge at home or off your bed. Great one to, uh, to get that release drill going. So uh, often you can try and use the weight of it too to get just to the ceiling without touching it. So. Um, your flatmates or your uh, mum and dad don't get angry at putting uh, holes in the, wall, in the roof. Good. If we want to extend ourselves, we can also put it from behind our head, which will be a bit more challenging. Okay, same thing. Yep, again, we're just trying to get some nice control. Seeing the ball with a nice tight spiral as it comes out of the hand and coming straight up and down. Nice. Okay, we can do a bit of extension, so I'm going to get James to lie on the back of the uh, Swiss ball this time. It's going to go from behind his head, so if you just put your back onto that. Cool. Good. We're going to have to stabilise through our core here as well. And that gives us a nice range of movement as well. So, James, if you can, just start from where you would start normally with the ball. Cool. Yep, and go up and down. Good. It's always good to have a partner there to catch the ball if it's not quite right. Beautiful, that's really tight spiral, nice and consistent out of the hands, that's awesome.